Lazel has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. forms inside us and you think to be idle i knew your kind to be fragile but i didn't foresee the severity be quick about your rest we must locate a crash a thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Go to hell. Ha! <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils. Dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Do you mind? I'm brooding. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. She's not of this world. I'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. There are many answers to that question. None are important.
Correct. No. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. A matter of coin. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Something the matter? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting.
Raiders! Shut up, <laughs> bastards! <laughs> For the absolute! Oh. Breathe deep and move. Sword, strike them down. Got to press on. fortifications for a wandering band of goblins to try and breach. What drove them to it, I wonder? Embarrass yourself. He is gone. No! Someone's going to pay for this. Arca, no, wait. What are you doing?
corpse regards you lifelessly. Cannon. I. We. From Elturel. Left. Sister. Before God volunteered, couldn't take much in bedroll. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Time to talk. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. I feel like we're being watched. There are people here! Children! There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Too much at stake. Worried about your precious hides, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. A safe haven. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. We need to leave. Forgive that display. Aladdin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve.
There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the Hells? Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. You peer through the telescope.
The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the right. That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. Mutually exclusive, the weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. Looking ahead, which way to the nearest library? Let's get going. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls, the form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well, as luck would have it. You're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Thank you. spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. It's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. 
Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. Moving ahead. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. <clears throat> Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. This was their mating season. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil, the most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. Mm. 
The corpse regards you lifelessly. Vance. Toll collector. questions. the devil you've been tasked to kill. Steady on, soldier. That's the stuff. Oh, fuck me. It's you, from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called Paladins of Tear did. Oh, let me guess. Baby Eater? Devil Worshipper? Believe me, I never killed anyone who didn't. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background. If your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? F 
Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? She's, uh, perhaps a little rough around the edges. But I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. No room in your party. What should I do? See you at camp, then. <laughs> now we're talking. Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. regards you lifelessly. Infernal servant! So long I've forgotten why! questions. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as Paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. You brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. Huh. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. You'd do well to reconsider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war. Frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. Rage all you want, Karlak. 
Burn with the might of the Hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger! <laughs> I ought to do it. How much farther can I go? Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. 
Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. Okay. 